Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about gigascale dilemma. So, what do you mean by gigascale dilemma? Gigascale is also known as joint scale integration. Gigascale or joint scale integration. In the evolution of integrated circuit technology, first we have started with the small scale integration, where in 1960s we have first transistors are there. First, any circuit diagram that was implemented with a transistor. Later, a group of transistors, like less than 100 number of transistors, are fabricated on a single silicon area, where we call that technology as small scale integration. Small scale integration. Small scale integration consisting of a maximum or less than 100 number of transistors on a single silicon chip area. Later. The small scale integration again improved and created less than 1000 number of transistors where we call it as medium scale integration. So small scale integration that consisting of a maximum or less than 100 number of transistors that are fabricated to create a particular logic function and later a thousand number of transistors came into existence to create the logic function but we need to understand that the SSI and MSI are created in the single silicon area whatever the area we have used for the small scale integration the same we have used for the medium scale integration for the fabrication now LSI came into existence with less than 10,000 number of transistors 10,000 number of transistors where large scale integration has been built up so large scale integration where where the silicon chip area we are taking the same area whatever we have considered in the previous two cases and very large scale integration very large scale integration where one lakh we can say one lakh number of transistors that are fabricated on a silicon chip okay in all these integration technologies, the silicon we have considered that is same, but the number of transistors are increasing from technology to technology. So all these we can say IC evaluation phases, IC evaluation phases with started with a single transistor to lakhs of transistors. Now. After this VLSA, very large scale integration, now the technology is at ultra large scale integration. Ultra large scale integration, where 1 million number of transistors can be fabricated on a silicon substrate. Okay, 1 million number of transistors means 10 lakh number of transistors can be fabricated, where in the same area where the previous technologies have been built up. Okay, now we can say the technology now we are using our mobile phones or laptops, ICs or processors that are now at ultra large scale integration where 1 million number of transistors can be fabricated to implement any type of logical functions, any type of applications we can say applications in our general applications. After that, we will be having joint scale integration or giga scale integration where 1 billion number of transistors are expected to be built. So, joint scale integration or giga scale integration, we call it as joint scale integration, joint scale integration, joint scale integration or giga scale integration. giga scale integration where 1 billion number of transistors have to be built up to provide to function any type of logical functions to facilitate any type of logical function but now the question is whether we can design this 1 billion number of transistors in the same uh, substrate area wherever the previous lsi ulsi and ssi msi have been built up can we go for the same uh, billion number of transistors can be fabricated in the same area that is a dilemma that is a dilemma so this is the concept you are going to see whether we can fabricate all these billion number of transistors on a single 
silicon area okay so now if you see a giga scale integration giga scale integration now research is going on on this giga scale integration where 1 billion transistor integration capacity to be expected okay so 1 billion number of transistors that have to be fabricated on a silicon substrate and this number of integration capacity has to be expected we don't know it is just expectation whether we can fabricate this many number of transistors without any faults that means so power leakages may be there leakage currents may be there and uh, a transistor transistor interconnects may be problems and the channel distribution may be problem all these are different problems that we can come across if we are having billion number of transistors in a same area but could be unusable due to power but could be unusable due to power logic technology logic technology growth will slow down because of these problems we can say logic technology may be slowed down and transistor performance transistor performance will be limited transistor perform performance will be limited so these are the problems when you go for the giga scale integration so this is the dilemma whether we can create billion number of transistors in that area or not so the solution for this type of problem uh, may be like this so all these are assumptions only so solution may be a low power design techniques we can adopt for designing this giga scale and billion number of transistors fabrication so low power design techniques low power design techniques and multi gate technology multi gate technology needs to be used so what is the advantage of this multi gate technology advantage of multi gate technology gives you more design efficiency so this improves this improves design efficiency design efficiency can be improved this means multi gates multi everywhere okay that means wherever you are using the single planar mosfet there you have to replace the transistor with a multi gate transistor like a finfet or tfet so that what happens within a small area we can increase the more number of transistors using finfet then we can create billion number of transistors within the small area another one is valued performance valued performance by even higher integration higher integration that means this is for potentially lower slower transistors potentially slower transistors so when we are using a billion number of transistors in order to avoid the uh, delay in with respect to transistors so higher integration can be possible 
Now gigascale transistor integration capacity will be available power and energy are the barriers. So another important point to be considered is power and energy power and energy capacities must be considered for giga scale integration giga scale integration technologies so variations will be even more prominent variations will be even more prominent shift from shift from deterministic or probabilistic design deterministic or probabilistic design improve design efficiency improve improve design efficiency with the help of multi transistors multi gate transistors okay or improved design efficiency with multi and as well as soc silicon on chip valued performance exploit integration exploit integration capacity to deliver performance in power or cost envelope okay these are the conditions to be considered when we are going for the giga scale integration generally we go for the multi gate uh, multi gate integrated circuits multi gate uh, transistors instead of planar mosfets when we go for the giga scale integration technologies nowadays even in ulsa also we are using this finfet and uh, fast uh, and growing technologies like a finfet and tfet technologies to use this fast and a higher number of transistors that need to be accommodated to give large number of applications okay this is about the giga scale so when we can, whether we can use this giga scale or not billion number of transistors fabrication is a dilemma that's why the topic itself is given as giga scale dilemma but it is possible when we are going for the multi gate technology okay thank you